another video tutorial from computergaga.com. This tutorial will look at assigning resources to tasks in Microsoft Project 2010. So we've got our resources set up in our project, they've been added, the opportunity has come now to assign them to do some work. I have a software development project in front of me at the moment and the first thing I'm going to do is just switch to the resource sheet to show you the resources uh, that have been set up. So I'm just going to right click over on the left in the scan chart and just switch to the resource sheet where you can see that I have seven resources set up, uh, a mixture of, of work and cost resources. And in fact, just realizing a mistake, that train resource uh, should actually be a cost resource. I'll just quickly change that now. Now adding resources, please check out one of our other tutorials, uh, but there are three types of resources in Project 2010, work, material and cost. Uh, two of them are being utilized here, and we'd like to assign them to do some work. So I'm going to switch back to the Gantt chart, I'm going to select a task, write functional specifications, and there are different ways to, to assign resources to work. The, the last column of the, the entry table in a Gantt chart here is a nice quick way of assigning, but arguably the best way, the most effective way, is to go to the resource tab up on the ribbon and into the assign resources dialog box. You've got much more uh, capability here, many more options, much more power, you know, the ability to filter for resources, uh, check for availability, assign different units and so on. That, that column we saw a few seconds ago, very primitive. But uh, we have the assigned resources dialog box here. I can see the resources. I can see a key note at the bottom. Hold down control and click to select multiple resources. That only applies to work resources. So I could ignore train and hotel here, which are cost resources, expenses for tasks. But it's a very key message. Uh, they changed a few bits in Project 2010. Uh, switching off effort driven by default. That's not to say it's switched off on yours, that is the default setting. Uh, depends what IT or previous users or yourself have done in the past. As it is a setting we can change, and once again, there's another tutorial outside of this really. But for now, at the moment of assigning, it's very key that message. A quick description of that if I hold down control and select Kathy as well, so I've got Billy and Kathy. And I'll click assign so they're being assigned at the same time by holding control. These are both work resources with a hundred percent of their time. I can see it's quite happy in the background accepting these resources. I can see on the right they've been added to the end of the Gantt chart. I can't quite see the column there, but I would see them there as well. I'm just going to add a cost resource. I'm going to select train. I'll assign train. It's okay that I assign it after because it's a cost resource. This message at the bottom does not apply, and I can add uh, maybe £55 worth of train costs we use there in that cost resource. If I needed to assign resources to others, I could I could click design storyboards in the background here. Maybe just uh, just Simon's on that, and I'll assign Simon's to do the work. I can easily pop through selecting tasks in the background and assigning work. When I've finished, I can close down that message and see my handiwork. Now that message, if I select write functional specifications again, clicked on assign resources again, I'm going to select uh, maybe the, the need of a laptop, which should be set up as a work resource, so I can check its availability, and I'm going to assign a laptop. As soon as I do that, I can see in the background that little triangle has occurred in the corner of write functional specifications. If I close this message, and go to the little icon that appears. This is why that message is important. As soon as I have added extra manpower, as they see it, which happens to be a laptop, not a human at all, but I've added more work uh, resources to it, by default it has increased the total work on the task, which makes sense. So most people are probably quite happy with that, but it's given us a warning to check our effort-driven scheduling and task type settings to see if it's okay with us, project-wide or task-wide. It's given me the ability right now to change these on the fly as well. So if I wanted to, I could reduce the task, 
maybe the extra effort is there to reduce the task duration or reduce the hours per day uh, as opposed to increasing how much work is going on. I'll leave it as the default here and if I carried on doing some bits uh, in this project that triangle would disappear like that. It didn't do anything, just double clicking and coming back out is enough and it would forget all about what you're doing. So that is due to some settings called effort driven scheduling and task type. It's worth checking out but for now this video is about how to assign resources to tasks and we've looked at assigning a work and a cost resource uh, using their assign resources dialog box. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please check out some other tutorials and tips at computergaga.com.